Good afternoon everybody, so it is Tuesday. I'm starting this vlog a little bit late today because I had to film my October favourites which you will have seen yesterday, um, this morning and then I had to and I got some lunch and I had to film some bits for my what I wore in a week and here we are. It's actually now time for me to open up some posts. I need to get like my life in order a little bit this afternoon. I'm also taking Nala to the vets because she is poorly and I'm so like sad about it and it's making me stress out and be all panicky. So yeah, I'm just gonna focus on my post for now and we will um, see what I've got today. I've also got a lot of beauty products to sort out in my office so probably bring you along with me for that okay so post actually this one isn't for me josh what have you been buying hmm? okay it's mainly this Ooh, useless opening boxes this box does not want to open Ooh. that's cool wow so this is my balloon weight and this is my balloon oh my god i love these balloons so these are the victor and rolf um flower bomb surprise balloons i know this because i've had one of these i've had a few of these before i don't know if anyone will remember but i got sent um like three ginormous ones of these for my birthday last year and they were amazing oh this one's so cute i also have a little something from Dior, which is very exciting. Here are some fun basics for a last minute Halloween makeover. Ooh, yes, I've got a new pump and volume mascara. Basically, they've sent me some things for a last minute Halloween makeover, but it just seems to be all my favorite products, so I don't really know what that says about my makeup taste. They've sent a flash illuminizer, which is the most amazing highlighter. Pump and volume mascara. They've sent the nude skin glowing makeup, which I've never actually used before, so I'm really excited to try that. They've sent a Dior Rouge liquid. That is such a nice colour. Oh my god. It's like a deep purpley colour. Like a purpley red. I'm just so happy with this balloon. It can go and live with my other rose gold balloons for my birthday that haven't moved. It has family. So cute. So we have a very good cup of tea and I'm currently sitting in what looks like a cupboard. Um, I'm actually sitting in my office but um, for the time being it seems to have just turned into a dumping ground for all of my depop clothes so um yeah that's what all this is um there is going to be a day soon i think where i just come in here and shoot everything like take photos of everything on me and then put everything up on my depop that day is coming soon i promise i keep getting questions like every single day um about when it's coming and i don't know exactly when but um as soon as i have some spare time which will be in november because i have a lot more free time thank god but yeah i'm gonna get to this once we are in november and it's gonna be great it's gonna be so great but i'll do a video like showing all of it and what's going up and when and everything once once when it's when it happens i'll let you know basically but i've got a lot more posts that i had to open so i thought i'd like show you guys the rest of my posts that i got last week that i haven't sorted out I literally opened it took a peek in and was like Ugh! too busy for this i make it sound like this is a massive problem i love my life don't don't get me wrong i'm just like slightly monumentally stressed at the moment so my response to everything is Ugh! i don't know how to get into this box i didn't have a problem getting into it last week there we go so this is a really cool tin actually i feel like i'm going to use this as like my like petty cash tin which is basically going to be the money for bagels kind of tin but inside it has the new tiffany fragrance so it comes in this cute little green box oh that's my front door. hang on i swear i see my yodel slash top man delivery driver more often than i see my actual boyfriend i think i'm gonna have to get him a present for christmas my top shop order arrived so if you watched my last vlog you'll have seen i did a little like come shopping with me basically i was stressed and i wanted to do some retail therapy and when i do that i'm not vlogging so i'm not making content so i decided to show you uh how i was shopping online at the top shop so i have a couple of new pairs of shoes and there was the studded leather jacket which i'm very excited to have a look at so we will delve into that in a minute but anyway the fragrance comes in a green box it looks like this so pretty mine has um 
my initials on the bottom of it as well. Let's have a spritz. I feel like there's another fragrance in here somewhere, so I think my nose is going to have exploded by the end of this. It smells like something that I have smelt before. It's very... It smells like something my mum has, and my mum wears a lot of Chanel fragrances. It smells like Chanel chance i want to say it's either chance or one of the chanel mademoiselle fragrances not madame was coco mademoiselle because i know that one it doesn't smell like that one um but either chanel mademoiselle or chance i would say that it smells like i can't remember which one it is off the top of my noggin but yeah if you're into those then check that out i have a lot more dior lots and lots of okay so this is the dior christmas collection so there is a precious rocks powder Ooh, it comes with like a poofer on the top oh that feels so nice it's basically like a really gorgeous golden uh shimmer powder which i think would be lovely for like kind of on your shoulders and things like that when it's like christmas season then there's this new matte fluid this is actually a really pretty color it's like a pinky brown then i think there's quite a few of these this is amazing look at that that would be like a really nice Christmas gift for someone. Like I feel like my mum would absolutely love that. Then there's this, which looks so cool. This is the Precious Rocks palette, which looks like, let me get the uh, bit of plastic out. Looks like that. How beautiful is that? There's another nail varnish in this like fuchsia pink color. Then there's a lipstick in the shade 341 Pure Topaz, which is a really gorgeous, it's like a matte, corally pink which is very interesting for a christmas collection i think that's that stuff then we have a little something from glossier this is the new glossier u fragrance which comes in this red and pink packaging it's very very cute so this is the bottle i have to say you don't get a lot for like the price of it i don't think i think it's quite a small bottle it's 50 that's 50 mil i don't know maybe it's just the bot the bottle's quite like travel friendly it's got this really cool like thumb dent so it feels quite nice to like hold your thumb like sits perfectly in this groove i really like this fragrance like i think it appeals to me more than the tiffany fragrance and like 80 percent love on this and then there's a 20 percent i'm not sure on but whenever i smell like um a jumper that's had this on i do really like the smell of it and i reach for it if anyone's wondering this isn't my first bottle of this if you can tell by the review um i already bought a bottle a couple of weeks back when it launched okay let's have a look Ooh. so if you watched my last vlog you will know that my one concern with this jacket was that it would have like distressed bits but looking at it i'm kind of i can kind of live with that it's i think it's gonna wear well if it's already kind of distressed what do we think i really like it fits my jumper underneath it as well which is good i'm kind of glad i sized up because i was not sure whether to go slightly oversized or not and this jumper underneath is huge so it's nice to and the sleeves are rolled up on it which makes it even more like chunky um yeah i really like it i think it's gonna be like the perfect like evening statement jacket with like um skinny jeans and boots like really big platform boots um yeah i'm very excited to wear that then so these are the boots that I picked up. I tried these on in store a couple of weeks ago and I did really like them. And when I watched the video footage back, I was like, oh, I wish I bought those. They look so nice. Yeah, I think these are gonna be so, so cool. Um, I'm excited to get wearing those. Then, finally, I finally got my hands on these. These are gonna be like my Christmas party season shoe i am so in love with these i am wearing a lot of black this autumn and winter and i know that's going to be the case so things like this like little statement pops of color like this and like this are like key in my wardrobe um and it's nice to be able to interject like seasonal colors whilst keeping like all the same leather jacket that i've had for years and the same jeans that i've had for years and all of that it's nice to have like 
these little extras to pop into my wardrobe to add a little bit more colour, texture. So I feel like you will see a lot of these. I'm doing all what I wore in a week at the moment and you'll see these throughout my vlogs in November. But I think that's probably going to be my last haul for the next couple of weeks. I got a lot of vouchers. Uh, lots of people like called me out on this, which is what whatever. I don't, I don't mind. Uh, but lots of people called me out on the amount of shopping that I do. This happens every October and I think people forget it's just been my birthday. Um, obviously I work with brands like Topshop as well so um, I think there'll be something coming up in November that's going to be really exciting and we worked with them on the Stranger Things launch um, but in addition to that it has been my birthday and my go-to thing aside from flowers which everyone got me um, I got a lot of Topshop gift vouchers so this month you will have seen me shop in there a lot and people get me these Topshop gift vouchers because they know I love shopping in there and I am if people give me gift vouchers I'm not going to be like no no no, I can't. Oh god. Anyway, I'll carry on this and then I'll clean myself up. I'm not going to not shop if someone's giving me gift vouchers. So um, just to address the why do you shop so much? Why have you shopped so much recently? It's getting out of hand. It's been my birthday and I love things in Topshop at the moment. So I'm not going to spread my vouchers out over the next few months when there's stuff that I really, really like at the moment. I'm going to buy the things that I really, really like. So um, yeah, but for those of you who hate hauls, don't worry, I am going to slow down a little bit now because I'm not armed with like a gazillion vouchers. Actually I have one left. <laughs> but yeah I am uh, gonna go clean myself up now because I've just put tea all over myself and I'm meant to be wearing this jumper tomorrow. <laughs> a little bit later and this is what I have to sort out <laughs> ah, this is why I should open my post more regularly so it's a little bit later now I'm editing this the final touches before <laughs> that's a, that's a wonderful face before my October face go up and I just realized that Lois came around earlier and she left the biscuits hell yes Thanks for leaving them for me, hun. I probably am going to eat them all, so when you come round next, they won't be here. Oh my god, they're so good. So quick update on Nala. I've been to the vets, um, and I really need to get on and edit this video, but I wanted to update you, because otherwise I'll forget. We don't know what's wrong with her. She's not herself. She's had some pain medication, like two lots of different types of pain medication. Some that are like for the symptoms that she's got, and then some that are like injection type stuff um so hopefully she should start to be like herself in the next couple of days see so yeah, i'm really hoping she'll start to feel better really soon because she's not been herself but luckily i think my day tomorrow my london day tomorrow has been cancelled so that means that i can spend my whole day keeping an eye on her i'm very very happy about that because i didn't want to like just leave her that is my dog update definitely not what I wanted to have today I literally have been worrying about her so much and I've got like loads of other stuff behind the scenes that is going on that I'm stressing about and on top of that like with that with her on top I'm just like <sighs> so I hate I, I can't stand the dogs being sick I don't know what, how I'm gonna cope when I have children I mean my dogs are my children but how do you cope when it's like a small child that you you made how do how, people how do you cope how do you do it yeah Nita edit this because otherwise you ain't gonna have a video yesterday if it was late i'm really sorry but it's because i was doing this <laughs> good morning everybody so it is tuesday it's the final day of vlogtober um i feel really really sad about it but also quite excited to get moving with some other things that i've been wanting to work on and i haven't really had the chance to this month um so yeah i'm like a mixture of feelings today but um this morning i am just off to get my nails sorted because i lost one yesterday um when i was putting a shoe on annoyingly like the acrylic just like pinged off so yeah i'm going to get those sorted and then i need to come home and edit the final vlogtober and get that up um and i feel like i should pick up a cake i feel like this is a occasion for cake because um Normally I don't ever get the final vlogtober up, it's like a traditional thing that it just doesn't happen. So um, yeah, I'm very excited to 
put that live today and to work on some blog posts that I'm really excited to get back into my blog again now I'm not like editing kind of daily um so yeah there'll be content over on my blog in November I want to work on the new blog design as well so hopefully I'll get a chance to do that um but yeah my day got completely like rearranged today I was meant to be in London basically all day and my mum was meant to be like dog sitting and now instead my day is completely different and I'm really really okay with it so yeah, that is, that's the deal with today. I am on time. I am six minutes early. I've not been six minutes early for about three months um, worth of appointments and my nail place that every time I ring them up and I'm like, no, sorry, I'm like running 15 minutes late because the traffic's a nightmare or I don't remember that it's half, it's half term and I need to like leave earlier. And uh, I'm six minutes early and I just reversed part. So today's going to be a good day. Yes. Look at that park. Hello. How are you doing, lady? Okay, you feeling a little bit better today? So I'm home now. I thought I'd save you yet another montage of me having my nails done because you know you know how it goes um but i thought i'd show you my nails um whilst i'm i'm sitting here having my lunch by the way um i've been editing this part of the earlier part of this vlog so like the beginning bit i'm about one minute 45 in at the moment and i've also been eating some sushi which i was going to show you and then i got really into eating it and forgot that i was meant to show you guys so currently have a bit of salmon a bit of tuna left um, but yeah, I'm going to show you my nails because I get a lot asked a lot about like the colours and the shapes. Um, and currently I've got a colour on it today called Dark Lava, which is one um, that is like a new one at my salon, but it's by C&D Shellac. And this is what they look like. This is the shape of them. They're kind of a, what we would maybe call coffin shape, but they're not fully, they're kind of a mix between square and coffin, I'd say. Um, but I really like this shape. It works the best for me, I think. Sometimes pointy is too much, um, especially when I want to do dark colours and I don't want just like short and square. So coffin kind of works quite well. So it's squared, but the tip is like kind of pointed, but then it goes into a square, if you know what I mean. So yeah, that is how my afternoon is going so far in a nutshell for you. Sushi, editing, nails. <laughs> editing this vlog pretty much and it's already pretty long so I think I'm gonna leave the vlog here um, and I just wanted to say a huge thank you to you guys for watching and for the liking and sharing and just for all of your tweets um, now that vlogtober is over I'm gonna try and get go back and get through some comments but yeah thank you so much for watching um, I'll be back on Thursday with another video I think I'll still be vlogging throughout November so there will still be vlogs but yeah still vlogging just less um and then we'll be back in december for vlogmas so yeah depending on things are kind of in a bit of a weird limbo stage at the moment um and there might be some changes so i might be doing vlogmas daily or i might be doing it the same as i did this month it depends on what happens over the next month so um we will see but yeah thank you all so much for watching um and for making october so special and i will see you guys again very, very soon bye